Good morning, CBC family. It's very good to be here with you again today on day 23 of our Grow Along. Today we will be reading 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 11 in the New International Version. But before we come to the Word, of course, let's just ready our hearts and minds uh, by setting aside things that are distracting us, things that are bothering us, and just uh, remember that this is our time. We don't have to be thinking about uh, the worries of the day or the irritants or the interruptions. Just take a deep breath together and uh, be ready to be led by the Holy Spirit. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, They will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, sometimes the road ahead looks overwhelming and tedious, but we thank you so much that we can and we will grow in our faith and our goodness, our knowledge, our self-control and perseverance, godliness, especially our mutual affection and love. Father God, we thank you that we can and will grow in our knowledge of you, our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we just ask that you would continue to equip us and to build us up as we grow together. We pray these things in your precious name, Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, friends and family, just think. um, If we could all just surrender our hearts fully to God, how much we would grow in him and through him what our world would look like and how it would be changed it really would change everything wouldn't it but we have to give up our own way first I guess so 
Today, let's go God's way. Let's let him have his way today, as hard as that is for me to say sometimes. Let's let God have his own way. I hope that you're all doing well today. Uh, I miss you guys. I love you, and I will see you here again tomorrow.